Okay. Colet. Uh, I cannot see. Here we go. Let's just head here. Get this item. And it's a shatter axe. Not bad, not bad. But again, I need to get to this item. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. But I just gotta keep reiterating it, because that's what I do. Okay. Richard, use a nice bullet too. This should weaken them quite considerably. And a 97. Okay. Not half bad. Now, Jeel, I'm going all out on these guys. Time to bring out the Gem of Welkin I think I used. I really don't know. But this one is badass. I think I've actually used this one in battle already. But there's the other one's pretty cool too. And this is more than enough. He's going to get a double kill right here. Swagger. And I didn't get anything from you. Can I get something from you? No. Just money. Okay. Whatever. Now. Let's see. Can I attack him from here? With a Celestial Drake? Yeah. To be honest, that's not very promising. I probably could have gone without... Um, attacking this turn just because of the HP recovery that's about to happen but I wanted to take a chance and it didn't necessarily pay off but hey I took out the other enemies and she doesn't have a healing spell of her own so I ought to be okay just gotta get to that item and HP recovery that restored everything that's what I was afraid of but it happens. And, okay. Another lightning. Ugh. 110, that still did a lot. Okay, even with boosted stats, that's still a lot. Because I believe the armlets will boost your stats whenever you're using them. Ha! Oh! I know they definitely boost your MP and HP, so that's a thing. Okay, Colet. Get over there. Okay, next turn I ought to be able to get the gem. So I can honestly start hitting uh, Luxuria now, I think. Unfortunately, can't do much with Rufus this turn. Not the biggest thing in the world. Now Richard, uh, just use a nice bullet too for now, just to weaken it a little bit. Just something. Unfortunately, I think Geo's gonna be without his armlet next turn, I think. Because I think Richard's like the only dude that can get like um, three turns out of a gem. Which is unfortunate, but it it would be way too overpowered if he if everybody got more than two turns. Oh god, that's actually kind of scary. I mean, good thing she missed, but that, that still would have been a lot of damage. I think Kolei is going to need to get the hell out of where he is right now and just join us as soon as he gets the item and okay we've taken out a good chunk and it looks like Richard's transforming next turn oh my god he hit it thank god <laughs> I didn't expect that okay okay so far doing okay there I go again with the okays let's see what we got Oh, I think what I'm going to do is attack with Rufus from behind. This will do a ton of damage. Ooh, 203, but if I do a Helm Splitter, not only is it guaranteed, it lowers the defense. I know I am, you know, kind of wasting a perfect opportunity with a Burning Aura, but to be honest, th that's better. Right there, because I can just make another one with freaking Jeel right here. Watch this. 105. That's much better. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Now, Jan. I don't think you can do that much, which is very unfortunate. Yeah. I don't like those odds. So, I'm just going to have Richard transform. You know what? Let's show off the Gem of Eternity. Time and Eternity? No. Not yet. Like... Like, okay, that's one of those games. I was looking forward to it before it came out. And then 
something went wrong with my shipping order, and so I didn't get it on time. Because something, I don't remember what. But I, I was okay with that. I had other games to play at the time. And then I started looking up reviews, and I'm like, is this game that good? So we got the Gem of Life, which is now on Jan's armlet. Does that mean I can just use it? Can I just use that now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know what? Instead of having Richard just go into the thing, uh, I'll, I'll go for it. I'll use the gem of life just because it's fun. Ah. So, I didn't get it the day it came out. Then I saw the reviews for Time and Eternity. It wasn't looking that good. Th this game was getting horrendous reviews. And then, I finally got the game. I was like, it can't be that this bad, can it? I mean... I personally don't know if I'll ever finish that game. But let's use Loving Goddess real quick. Just. Oh, God. Really? Really? How much will a regular attack do? I'm going with that. I don't like those odds. Okay, but. I was like. The game is not the worst RPG I've ever played. I've played worse. Prime example would probably be Unlimited Saga. That game is atrocious in my opinion. But Time and Eternity, it was its own level of bad. It's, it was below un Unlimited Saga for sure. But it just did not live up to my hype. I mean, it just looked... Oh, we can only use that for one turn? I didn't know that. So, it, like, it was a decent game. Like, it has redeeming factors. But by no means is it a great game. Ow. That one stung. Okay, Richard. Let's see. Oh, I can't use that now, huh? Okay. Uh, well, I guess I technically could. Just gotta, you know, uh, use a mana shard. Here you go. Richard. Here you go. Mana shard. All the way. And. Okay, can I get Geel over? Yes! I can move Geel right here. Perfect. <gasps> nice. Nice. Now, this'll stack a burning aura. So, it'll be essentially, like, double. Whew. Yeah, please be enough. Okay, one, two burning auras, and in temporal light. Ah, oh, not quite, but so close. We're less than 100 away. Well, probably about 200 now with the uh, HP recovery that's going to happen. But, Cole, see if you can't get into this too. Hmm, you can't. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's like no way he'll be able to, but it's all good. As Kale did his job perfectly. He got the gem. Got all the treasure, pretty much. So, yeah. Okay. What's this beast going to do? Hey, Richard, uh, you want to be a badass and... Oh. Okay. I see how it is. Now. We're pretty much done with this, surprisingly. Okay. HP recovery. There's gonna be like three more, aren't there? Oh, well, there's this. I don't think I gave one to him. Which is all fine. Now, Rufus. Kick his ass. Yeah! Alright. That went much better than I expected. And, ooh! We got Mind Eater and another HP recovery. Not the EXP bonus I wanted. But hey, another HP recovery. I'll take it. And more stuff. I like this stuff. Especially the money. Mana Crystal, Erpo Fruit, Blistering Health, and another Angel Bow. At least, I think I haven't gotten an Angel Bow yet. Kalei's now level 48. Everyone's getting into the 40s, except those I haven't used in God knows how long.
Oh god, you look like a freaking uh mummy. Kinda. Like she looks Egyptian to be honest. With all the crap on her. I mean look at that thing. What? Oh, Oh. Dang it, Henry. Or Gilveroth. Yeah. You kind of did. Why, you little shrimp? Yep. Oh. God. That's not something I wanted to see. Huh? Roger? Oh my god. Everything's just culminating at once. This escalated quickly. Yeah, well, let's get out of here while they're arguing. Because this is just getting out of hand. <laughs> Great. Now the bloodlust is just real. Oh lord! Where'd they come from? Eh, I can handle them. I mean, roof is good. I mean, at this rate, I feel like a compass would just be so OP against these guys. Um. What's happening? Grar? That doesn't tell me anything. Oh, is this like a spirit bomb? You're like just bringing all their powers together, putting them in a little pot or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ribbit. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Huh. I can kind of tell. That little hair thing. Whatever it may be. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what demon lords do. Okay, I guess I can do that. Doesn't seem that difficult. I mean, besides the fact he has an invisible force field. No. 
Yet again, seems like things escalate very quickly in this game. I mean, what is that? The Headless Horseman being ready to become headless? Oh hey, it's a raven. Get out of here. It, thank God this game isn't voice acted, like all the way, like Chaos Wars. For the most, well, I mean Chaos Wars isn't either, but like the reason I bring that up is because there's like this weird bird thing in the beginning of the game, and it's like, call, call, but it's like it's supposed to say like key, key or something. It, it sounds so stupid. So, guess guess Roger is on the search for a gem, maybe. So, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty interesting stuff. So, is there going to be more text? I really hope not. So this is chapter 7, uh, Tempest Toast. I am going to end it here. No, no, I can't. I've already started. And, uh... Plus, otherwise, the next episode would probably be split. So, I mean, I'd rather have this one split if it's, like, the chapter finale. Sup, dude. Brittany. Hmm. Yeah, we kind of need this, us. Oh, that's where you're from? That must hit really hard then. Yeah. How are we going to do it? Do we have to get Kalei to level 99? Seems like our best bet. <laughs> What? Why not? What do you mean? How are we going to get to Paris? Oh, great. It's like this chapter is the chapter of birthplaces. No, I'm not. Clearly I'm not. I'm not a Yoshi. I can't reach that far. Oh, really? Huh. Okay, maybe Rufus knows this too, because I'm not using the higher. <laughs> what are you doing up so late? I would take that as a yes. Oh. Oh. 
เอาอืมโอเคอย่างพร้อมแล้วจะเป็นดาวโอเคสำหรับเราเรากำลังจะไปทางแม่น้ำแต่เราจะทำนี้ในตอนต่อไปนะครับ Now, there is a free stage that opens up at the Voldor Temple, which it does have some pretty good stuff, including a gem for Jan. But the problem is, I'm incredibly underleveled for that. I d honestly recommend going in there with like characters in the 60s. Um, so I'm not going to do that. So next time we'll be heading. Into the canal because we can, and yeah. So thank you guys for watching in later days.